Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Today we've got a beer from Brauerei Gerber Meissel, and this is their Meissel Weiss Alcohol Free. Non-alcoholic beer then, 0.0% ABV, and yeah, 10 IBUs apparently. So this is a non-alcoholic Hefeweizen Weiss beer. Um, so these guys are out of Bavaria in southern Germany. Um, I've reviewed the the original uh, Meisel Weiss, uh, Weiss beer, um, but I thought I'd go ahead and give this a non-alcoholic version a go. Um, quite enjoyed the uh, the original. So there's the crown. What's the focus? Maybe, maybe not. I'm using my phone again, so just for quickness of upload and etc. So, 500ml bottle. I purchased this one at the uh, Little Swift in Margate quite a while ago now. Bit of smoke on the opening there. So these guys have been going um, since um, 1787. So it's always a real privilege for me drinking a beer from a brewery that's been around for, for just hundreds of years, you know. So it's not a typical Hefeweizen glass, it's just because I haven't got one at the moment. So I smashed my only one I had a little while back. So it's just going to make do of a straight pint glass. But typical in the style. It's got a two finger, slightly off white, slightly tinged yellow head. And as you'd expect, for the style of beer. It's hazy, uh, fairly well carbonated, kind of a, an orangey in colour. Let's get a swirl and a sniff then. I've heard some good things about some of the non-alcoholic um, or alcohol free if you like uh, German beers. A lot of people have said they're the best ones they've had. So we'll go with this one see what we get. So on the aroma, there is just no difference really from from the original. You know, it smells like a, a typical Hefeweizen or wheat beer, whatever you want to call it, vice beer. Yeah, you're getting all them kind of characteristics in there: banana, clove, a little bit of kind of white white pepper, touch of coriander, maybe something like that. Certainly a, bit, a little bit herbaceous, but a touch of banana as I've said. It smells really good. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Wow, okay. There's a little bit left. So if you don't want the sediment, there's a little bit of sediment in there. I mean, it's, it's a choice, but generally you, you, you put it in. So it will cloud up a little bit and get all them goodness off the bottom of the bottle. Cloud it up, you can see the clouds at the bottom of the glass there, and it's supposed to be hazy like that. There's still a little bit in there as well, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. I have to say, then on the taste, this is the best non alcoholic beer I've ever had. It's simple as that. It tastes not too dissimilar to the original. Um, it's not an alcohol thing, always, and this proves it. This just tastes like a brilliant, typical, original uh, German Hefeweizen Weiss beer. It's just um, that is that is impressive, I have to say. I was expecting it to be decent, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good for a non-alcoholic beer. I can't. I mean, unless I've done a side-by-side, -side, of course. That's the only thing. 
a bit of carbonation there. I'm drinking it, for, I'm gulping it down, it's really good. It's hot. But I'm starting to get the gas build up. There will be a belch coming up soon, no doubt. But why I'm getting on it is it's just all them classic notes that you would get in, 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 a, in an alcohol um, version, alcoholic version, so I say. So you're getting a bit of white pepper, that coriander seeds is almost coming through uh, much more than on the, on the aroma, the banana, the clove. Um, there is a little bit of kind of a bubble gummy edge there. Um, it's definitely there. Excuse me, there you go. Um, but it's just, excuse me, that's better. It's just a fantastic beer. It's a fantastic beer for a non alcoholic beer. I probably wouldn't guess blindfolded that this was. I might get the style, as in a Hefeweizen. I would never know this is not a non alcoholic beer. And it, that would shock me. That would really shock me, I think. It's so easy drinking. I mean, I'm, I'm nearly halfway down a bottle already. And um, if, if you're. If you're driving or something like that, and you love like wheat beers, German ones especially like these, go and get some of these, and he can still drive, no no bother at all. That has really shocked me how good that beer is. It really has shocked me. It, I'm not just saying it, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, I have to say. That has really intrigued me now to push on with other non-alcoholic German beers to, to see what they're like as well whether it's just this brewery or a lot of breweries in Germany um, a few people have said to me that the Germans have really cracked the non-alcoholic beer kind of deal and um, if that's anything to go by I completely agree with them so this is Meiselweiss alcohol free half a vice beer then 0.0% ABV unbelievable go and give it a try for yourself see what you think but um but yeah anyway i'm really impressed with that i'm really actually like wowed by that that's that's so good anyway check out my german uh beer and craft beer playlist down below uh thank you very much for watching you all take care keep safe and i'll see you on the next video cheers